Islam, we believe that God is one. No buts, no exceptions. There is only one God, and none has the right to be worshipped but Him. Allah is just and fair. So we know that Allah would never place a burden on us greater than what we could handle. That whatever we do in life, good or bad, will be held responsible for it. And that nothing will be missed or ignored or left out. At the same time, the mercy and compassion of Allah is unimaginably vast. There are actually two names of Allah that contain the Arabic word Rahmah or mercy. These are Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, roughly translated as the most merciful and the ever merciful. So even if we do wrong, even if we make mistakes, even if we mess up again and again and again, out of His mercy and compassion, Allah is always ready to forgive us and give us another chance. All we have to do is ask. First of all, let's go point by point. Tell me what you believed as Muslims, and then what Christianity is saying, and then how you would approach these folks on each of these points. Let's start with Jesus himself, okay? Islam believes a lot about Jesus, but they got a problem. So tell me what they believe, what the problem is. Uh, we often tell people in conferences that Muslims believe more about Jesus than most liberals do. Uh, Islam believes in the virgin birth. They, Pure birth is what the Quran says. But they have no problem affirming the virgin birth. They believe that Jesus did miracles. No problem with this. They believe that Jesus never died. They believe that Jesus is returning, but only as, and with the entire concept of, Jesus as a servant of Allah. He is not the Son of God. No one is. He was not the monogenes, only begotten of the Father. He is not in any way anything more than, better than, greater than any other human being. The Quran teaches he was created from the dust like Adam was. That Jesus is the penultimate or next to last prophet. That Jesus spoke of the final prophet in Surah 61 of the Quran. It teaches that Jesus said, I must leave to send a parakletos, which in Arabic means Muhammad. That they believe that Jesus said, I'm leaving, Muhammad will be the final word. And so the greatest prophet in Islam is Muhammad. When we emphasize Jesus, they say he's one of many. He's one of the prophets. He's a good man, great man. But that Jesus did not die on the cross, that Jesus will return only when Allah allows him to return, that somewhat like Da Vinci Code, that Jesus will get married, have father many children, live a long life. Then when he dies, he's buried next to Abu Bakr, 